I've been treating and studying Parkinson's disease for at least the past 10 years, and we have been challenged by not having any treatments that can actually stop or slow the progression of the disease. One of the major barriers is that even if we had a drug or some sort of compound that could do that, it's hard to get it into the brain, into the right area that needs to be treated. And so what makes this study unique is we're using focused ultrasound as a means to open up this barrier that keeps compounds or drugs from getting into the brain. And we're using it in a very targeted fashion for the first time ever in people who have Parkinson's disease. The blood-brain barrier is a collection of cells that protects the brain. It acts as a border to prevent compounds or dangerous chemicals from getting into the brain because obviously the brain is a very important organ. One of the things that the blood-brain barrier keeps from getting into the brain are particularly large molecules or large chemicals. And so there are a large number of drugs that we have that could be very effective for treating Parkinson's disease, but they're just too big to cross this blood-brain barrier. For this study, we use MRI to be able to actually see the regions where we want to open the blood-brain barrier. We image people before they get the treatment and after they get the treatment and can actually use a specific type of dye that shows us that the blood-brain barrier has actually opened and allowed things to enter into that very specific region of the brain. Typically, if we wanted to actually do this, we would have to open up the skull and inject something directly into the brain, which is an incredibly invasive procedure, as you can imagine. And so to actually be able to see this done in real time with a patient simply lying in an MRI machine without actually having to have an invasive neurosurgery was remarkable to see. This initial study is really to prove to ourselves that it's safe in people with Parkinson's disease to be able to open up the blood-brain barrier in these very targeted regions. Our next steps are to use this technology and this drug or a variety of other drugs to see that these drugs can actually have an impact on the disease by reducing the progression of the disease and reducing symptoms. So although today is not going to give us the final answer for Parkinson's disease treatments, I think it is really the beginnings of an exciting time for finding new treatments and hopefully a cure for Parkinson's disease.